Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels. Today is February the 2nd of 2024 and I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord today. Just a reminder to check out my website for past words given. And if you would like a printed copy of the Daily Word, please scroll down the first page and click on the upper right-hand corner of the word posted there to have access to a downloadable and printable PDF. The Lord has been speaking to us about His end time plan for the nations. He's been speaking about bringing in a harvest. But if we look around us in the world, we wonder if that is even taking place. We see so much chaos, so much criticism and opposition to Christian values and to the message of Christ. And we can be disheartened by the persecution we see taking place. But the Lord has always promised and encouraged us that He is always at work, that He has not left us, that He is with us and will be with us till the end of the age. In this word today, the Lord is telling us that He is at work and He is fulfilling His plan and his promises toward his people. The Lord does hear our prayers, and he has heard our prayers for revival, and especially for our own households who may have gone astray. He is at work building his church. I hope this word today will bless and encourage you as you hear it. It is titled, A Generation of the Lord. I'll begin by reading scripture. Ezekiel 34, verse 12. As a shepherd looks after his scattered flock when he is with them, so will I look after my sheep. I will rescue them from all the places where they were scattered on a day of clouds and darkness. These are the words spoken by the Lord to the prophet. The Lord is likening himself to a shepherd who looks after the sheep, who gathers the wandering sheep and rescues them from all the places to which they have been scattered. Isaiah 61 verses 1 through 3 the Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me, because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn and provide for those who grieve in Zion, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. They will be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of His splendor. These words of Jesus prophesied through Isaiah speak of his intention to set the captives free, to release those who have been in prisons of darkness, to give them joy instead of mourning, to remove their despair, and to plant them in righteousness. I'll begin reading this word. 
Look and you will see that I am moving in your midst, says the Lord. I am releasing those in darkness, setting them free to walk in the light. I am doing a great work amongst your children. I am changing them from glory to glory. They are being changed by the power of my presence. I will make them great in the land. I will establish them as pillars in the house of God. Do not be discouraged, do not give up hope, for I am moving in their midst, and they shall see my hand of mercy upon their lives, and they shall see that I am a faithful God, and that my promises are true. They shall see that I am come, that they may have life, and have it abundantly. I am restoring the backslider in this day, says the Lord, the wanderer who could not find a place amongst the elect. I am making the way for the prodigals to come into the Father's house. I am making room for them in the assembly of the elect and a place for them to be rooted into the household of God. I am making a place ready preparing it for the scattered sheep. I am calling them in, calling them unto myself, and I will usher them into fellowship with one another and with the Lord their God. They shall wander and stray no more. They shall be brought in and ministered resurrection life to, and they shall dance and sing and rejoice in the Lord God. They shall not be shaken, but they shall be established upon the rock of Christ. I will answer all your questions, says the Lord. Heal all your diseases and get your feet moving in the direction I have ordained for you. Doors of ministry are about to open before you. Opportunities to be involved are forthcoming. I will not leave you. I will not forsake you. I have heard your cry for revival in the hearts of the people, and I am coming to bring to life those who have walked in death and the power of their sin. I am releasing them from chains, untying their blinders, and they shall see that I am great and awesome, that nothing is too difficult for me. I will do it, says the Lord. I will put everything in its place, though it looks like everything is falling apart. Rejoice, for only those things that are not functioning in line with the work of my spirit are coming to naught. And in the midst of it all, I am building my church. I am raising up a generation who will worship me in spirit and in truth. In this word today, the Lord is encouraging us that he is on the move, that he has heard our cries for revival, that he has heard our prayers for our backsliding loved ones and this backsliding generation who has wandered away from the Lord. He is telling us that he is releasing those who have been bound up in darkness, that he is pulling them out and bringing them into the light, that he will do great things amongst them to display his splendor, to make it known to them who he truly is, that he is a great and awesome God. Those who have wandered away, the prodigals, these are the lost sheep. The Lord is telling us he is drawing them back into fellowship, into the household of God that though they have been outcasts, he is making a way for them to come home to the Father's house. 
I am sure that all of us know some prodigals, those who may even be of our own household, who at one time were taught in the way of the Lord and yet wandered astray into the world of darkness to be bound up and imprisoned by bondage. But the Lord is telling us he is moving in, that he is breaking their chains and taking their blinders off and leading them back into the truth, that he indeed is building his church. And though it looks like chaos is all around us, he is putting things in his order and he is raising up a generation that will worship him wholeheartedly in spirit and in truth. This word today is an encouragement for those of us who have been praying for our prodigal sons and daughters and for this generation as a whole, young and old, that this generation would be a generation that honors the Lord God Almighty. Be encouraged by this word today. Not all is lost. The Lord is in control, and he is working out his amazing end-time plan. Thank you for listening today, and we'll talk to you again in the next video. Have a great day. Bye for now.